Today I am going to show you how I stitch Bucillan felt Christmas ornaments and I have a kit of 20 ornaments dedicated to the 12 days of Christmas and my first ornament will, will be a partage in a pear tree. Everything you need for creating this ornament is already included in the kit. You will only need scissors and polyester fiber fill. Here we have the first list of our instructions and here we have step-by-step -step detailed instruction how to create first ornament. Also we have a chart with all details which are numbered in orders in which we have to uh, stitch them together and also information about which color of floss we have to use for embroidery, which color of segments we have to add for decorating details. So let's step with the first details. And I'm looking for the felt of the where I can find the first detail. I am quite happy with the quality of the felt in this kit. It's nice and quite thick and I didn't have any problems with cutting and sewing all the details, even the tiny one. So first I need to embroider and then to um, cut the detail and applicate to other details. And my first hint is as the first step you have to embroider and only then to cut small details. It will be much easier. And I made a mistake and I first cut it and then tried to embroider and it wasn't very convenient. What is important is to have a nice scissors with sharp points because we have here a lot of small details. And I was surprised that ornaments were quite complicated and it take me some time to create my first ornament, even if I have quite a big experience with a Bucilla felt applique kit, but I enjoy it immensely. And I also was surprised that ornaments are quite big and I think that I won't make from, from them the Christmas tree decorations, maybe I will organize them in some kind of garland for the wall decoration. Now I am cutting the second detail, which is the pot for the tree. Instructions included in Bucilla kits are always very detailed and suitable even for beginners, so don't be afraid to try Bucilla kits. They have some kits for creating Christmas stocking or for Christmas decorations and also kit for Easter and Halloween decorations. Next piece I have to find is the trunk of the tree and here it is. And we can see that here we have indicated the place where I have to put the first and second detail. Everything is pretty clear, but I can again use my graphic chart and to see which uh, floss I have to use for embroidery. Here we have information about different stitches using for decoration, also quarters for the different colors of floss and how many strands we have to use. And the same for the sequins, for the French notes and other stitches. Even if you are a beginner, you will learn each stitch Again, here we have pretty detailed pictures and all stitches are very easy. Nothing difficult at all. Back stitch is the most common stitch used for embroidery. And in the kit we have two needles included, 
one for embroidery and one for uh, sequins and for the beds. So I found that I have to embroider my first detail with metallic thread. And here it is. It's not the best metallic thread, but quite decent for doing small details like this. And I did the embroidery and now I have to attach it to the trunk of the tree. As I said, it's easier first to embroider all the details and only then cut the detail you need. I don't like to cut all the details and I prefer to use to cut only detail which I need for the next step and it's in this way I won't lose all the smooth detail. So just follow your instruction step by step. Now I have to finish this embroidery of the pot and then I can add all the details. When I did the front part, now I have to stitch it to the back part and then to stuff it with the um, polyester filler. I use one strand of floss for the uh, stitching and the color of the floss is according to the color of the felt. And here is my stuffed part. And let's add some filling to the pot. And it's convenient to use some wooden sticks, which don't have to be very sharp. I, for example, use my brushes like this. And they help me to fill even the small corners. According to instructions, next I have to stitch together main part of the tree to the tree trunk and then to do all the small details of the tree, like leaves and pears. And here we have places where I need to uh, put sequins and also where I have to put leaves and pears. Very convenient. So I added sequins and beds and I also consulted with the chart of which color of sequins I have to use and now I walk on the leaves. First I embroider them and now I also have to add sequins. For the leaves they will be in gold color. It already looks beautiful and very festive. It's very easy to go step by step and we have number of the detail printed on the felt here and also the same number indicate where we need to stitch this detail on the main ornament. Now I am working on the pairs. I again embroidered them and said added sequins and beds. I also stuffed each pair so it has the front and the back details. And again, thanks to the good quality of the polyester felt, it was easy to work even with the small details and even to fill them with the polyester filling. After I stitched all leaves and pears to the front part of the tree, I added the back part and I stuffed the whole ornament and also I added this cording for hanging of this ornament. Now it's soft and I like to squeeze it. I really like how it looks. But now I have to work on my partridge and I have to find all the details. 
and here they are. I consulted again with my instructions and found all numbers which I need for constructing this partage. I started to embroider it and to add sequins. First I will do her wing and for this I will need um, four or three details. I also have to stuff it and then I will add this wing to the body of the partridge. And on the next step I have to do this banner. It's convenient that we have a lot of details for this ornament on the same color of the felt. And here I cut all details which I needed to create partridge. Of course it's not the easiest kit because it contains a lot of small details but carefully following the instructions step by step you will be able to do all the ornaments quite quickly. And my partridge is ready. I added the the small bed as her eye. I stitched um, front part to the back part and of course I stuffed her. And now I have to work on this banner. Again first I embroider everything and here we have two kinds of different stitches. Then I will um, stitch together three details for the front and only then I will cut the back part and I will stitch everything together. If I have problems with finding the next details on the pieces of felt I always can consult the cover of the kit and to look of which color it will be and which color of the floors I have to use for embroidery. My front part of the banner is ready and I am going to stitch it to the back part. I don't need to stuff it. The work goes very quickly and when you, you get acquainted with step-by-step uh, -step instructions you will be able to do all 12 ornaments from this kit very very quickly. And here is my final result. I am so happy. I really like how it looks. I had a great time doing it. I am a little bit surprised how big is this. I definitely have to think about how I will do the garland, the wall ornament from all the 12 parts. And I am also eager to do the more complicated ornaments like leaping lords, like milk ladies. But I will try to do them in order. So next will be two turtle doves. And I think that it's great that just from one kit by Vusilla we can get 12 ornaments. I hope that this small tutorial was helpful for you and that you will join me in creating other ornaments from this kit. On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas my true love gave to me golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and 
clouds and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying by.